Uh oh, it's only the moment you've all been waiting for. Well, howdy, how's it going? Welcome to the first installment of Utter Chaos. Quite intimidating, I'm not gonna lie. Welcome to my humble abode. This is my desk. Look at all the no room I have. Look, it's not the biggest, okay? It is small, but it gets the job done. That's what she said! <laughs> oh anyway, without further ado, let's get into today's video. I sound like such a YouTuber when I say that. So because I can't make a decision to save my life, I have this trusty device. It is a box that I made in year eight. Not gonna lie, it's had many faces since then because there were some questionable design choices in its creation. If you look very carefully, you can still see the remnants of those bad decisions. I may potentially get another facelift later on. Stay tuned for that one. But for now, this is what we've got. Now inside are a whole bunch of ideas that are generated in this here noggin and then drop down in notes on my phone. I make lists all the time. It can get quite overwhelming scrolling through them all, trying to pick one, and then by the time I do, I'm exhausted and I do none of them. Instead, I meme hunt for hours. Productive! Tired of making decisions? Think life would be easier if someone could do it for you? Then look no further! Get yourself a big box of ideas today! I'm so glad I got myself a big box of ideas. Now if I'm in a decision-making pickle, I can simply reach in and pull out an activity for the day. Thanks, big box of ideas! Alrighty, let's pull one out, shall we? Now I'll put it up here so you know that I'm not cheating. Okay. <sighs> kind of nervous. <laughs> and rightly so. Wow. <laughs> it's not where I saw the first episode going, but um, strap in. It's going to be a wild ride. No, you know what? This is a perfect representation of what this channel is and will continue to be. You know what, I kind of wanted the first one to be a little bit normal, you know, just, just lure you in with a false sense of security and then BAM! When you're already in, that's when the crazy shit happens. That's not what we're doing! I am making sashimi and not sashimi as in the sushi, okay? No, no, there is some backstory here. I don't know if you're ready. I don't think you're ready for this journey. Picture it. 2021. I'm in the middle of an assignment. I have to create like 30 characters. And as you can imagine, creating that many characters in such a short amount of time, you start to lose it. Things get weird. Real weird. I'm sure you've all heard of Steve Buscemi. If you have not, you'll certainly recognise him. And if not, where have you been living? Let's just say we took a certain part of his name and a certain very distinctive characteristic and mushed them together and created... Well, essentially, it's the stuff of nightmares. You're welcome. This character that I created, Bushimi. A bush with Steve Bushimi's eyes. He's horrifying, but I love him so much. <laughs> He's one of the best things I think I've ever created in my life. Prove me wrong. I genuinely love this character so much that I have vowed to myself to create him in every single medium that I possibly can. So I did this. You are fucking terrifying. I mean, look at these soulless eyes. It's the stuff of nightmares. But I love him so much. And I'm sure by this point you're like, no, no, please don't. Do not unleash anything else that looks like that on the rest of the world. Too late. I did this. It's as big as my head. I hate to say it, but I also love this. Why? It's insane. So I'm sure you're wondering what the hell Bushimi has to do with this. And that is that Sashimi shall be his sushi cousin. That's right, I'm going to stick Steve Bashimi's eyes on a piece of sushi. Are you ready? I can hear you! I hope you said yes, because we're about to dive in. Alrighty, let's look up some references, shall we? So, you can have quite a few different variations of sashimi, right? Different kinds of fish. Chicken sashimi should not exist. Um, you need to cook that shit, okay? Do you want salmonella? Because that's how you get salmonella. Now we also have to look up Steve Buscemi, okay? We all know him. We all know his eyes. You know what? I just caught a glimpse of myself and I've got... My eyes are pretty baggy today. So <laughs> I'm just channeling him. Everything was like, sashimi. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. It's all coming together. See, I like the look of the salmon one. I think that's like... When you think of sashimi, you're like, salmon on rice. You know what I mean? But also, tuna's a pretty colour and I think it would match his eyes. I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting quite hungry looking at all this. Should I uber eat sushi? Prawn. 
We've got prawn, says Shamey. Are you sure, or are you just... You're just showing me a whole bunch of sushi, and I'm not mad. Simply put, sashimi is thinly sliced pieces of raw fish. No rice. Ooh, no seasoning. Just the freshest fish possible. Unlike sushi, which needs to have rice. I'm learning. It's literally just the fish on top. But you know what? It's not as aesthetically pleasing if it's literally just a thinly shaved bit of fish. You need rice. Yeah, look, the salmon one is more aesthetically pleasing. I like this. I like this one. Yes, please. So we'll do that. See, I like this image. This image has got a lot of variety. It's got the salmon. It's got the tuna looking mighty fine and very pink eye-esque. Lovely. It's what we want. All right, let's look up the squid sashimi, shall we? Ooh. Oh, no. I <laughs> don't like that. Let's move on to the sashimi part of things, of the Steve variety. We need some good like eye shots for a lack of a better term. Maybe this or maybe this one. Even if we can get some like caricature kind of things because they kind of exaggerate stuff. The only thing that stands out is his teeth. So I'm like, do we also add those like we did with original Bushimi? Or should we just stick with a little grin? A little Bushimi grin. We'll play around with it. We'll see. We'll see. Right, let's keep that one open too. Why not? All right, let's look up some caricatures. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow, some of these are wild. Don't look at this one. That's just, that's so exaggerated. Oh, well, you got me there. I kind of like the look of this one. This one's exaggerated, but not overly, you know, like that. Or, well, that. But you can't really get more exaggerated than that. Why? I'm just gonna we'll gloss over that. Did someone make a me character for the Wii? I used to make so many people on the Wii. And The Sims, if I'm honest. Look, I don't care how many times I say this, it's funny. And it will always be funny. I may potentially set that as my background one day. I like this art style. Who is that? There's a whole page of Bashimi. Okay, here we go, here we go. We can get some inspiration here. Dale C. Bowers. Whoa, that's cool. Dude, this art style is just so cool. I really like it. Now where's that Bashimi that he did? Cause that is so awesome. Look at that. I mean, it's digital art, but it kind of looks like he used like an oil brush or something. I like you, Dale. Keep doing you, buddy. All right, this is a little bit exaggerated as well, but not overly and I kind of like it. So let's open that one as well. Some people are just so talented. Like, where the heck? Can I get some of that? Oh, someone did a 3D model. Are you kidding? That would have taken some time. Many people have done them. Whoa, that's textured. That is insane. That's insane. <sighs> I could never. Oh my god. If they did like a live action Rugrats. I love Rugrats. Reptar. I've got a Reptar Woody and I really want one. Not gonna lie. A few years ago, I did do a binge of the whole thing. Still love it. Right, I think I've gathered enough references. Now it is time to, oh my God, someone actually sculpted one, like genuinely with clay. Anyway, I got sidetracked. Let's get to creating Nightmare Fuel part two, shall we? I am so excited. Just so you know, I don't just create Nightmare Fuel, okay? I can do other stuff. Ah, oh, Proj. Another one of my favorite creations. Basically what I did was take my best friend Emma's cat, George, and then turn him into his favourite food. It's kind of like a mer-cat, but it is a prawn. Proge. I'm a thinker. All right, let's get to sketching, shall we? We've got a brand new page in our handy dandy notebook. I feel like it'll be easier to just start off with like the actual sashimi portion and then try and figure out where the eyes and the mouth are gonna go. So we'll do that. Let's start off with this tuna one, even though it doesn't really matter because there's no color in it yet. We're just doing a rough sketch. So it just kind of sweeps in. Uh, we right, so don't judge because it is super rough. Okay, we're gonna put this little bit here and then we put this little bit here. Lovely, it's sort of coming together. But look, we don't want it too detailed anyway. This is just a rough sketch just to figure out where we want everything. So we could in this layout have the eyes say here and then like the mouth there ish, or we could flip it so that it's kind of 
like on that side kind of thing. So it's going backwards, you know what I'm saying? So it's skinny. And we can have our eyes there and there and our lips there. I kind of like it more this way than I do that way. So far, this one's winning, but we can't stop there because there's actual like sushi rolls, you know? And then we could have like the fish on top, like so. Cool. I feel like the lines make it look more fishy. But then there's the dilemma of where to put everything. The eyes could either go, say like here or here, or they could go up top, open out, out there, and this could be the mouth. Get rid of all that stuff. Or the mouth could just be here. You know, there's a whole bunch of different stuff. Kind of like that layout, but I still am sticking with this. OG one over here. Alright, so this is based off the salmon one, which is, I mean, it's essentially the same shape. There's different textures the further that way you go. So that's kind of interesting. So design-wise, we have a choice between the tuna and the salmon, and I think I'm going to go salmon. Then we just kind of have to figure out the orientation. Do we want it widthways? Do we want it lengthways? Or do we want like a cross section? So let's say if we make, let's get that out of the way. And say with this one, the eyes can go here, like that. And then the mouth can literally be this bit. Or if we have something similar, let's just draw like a real dodgy one. Yeah, I have little dibby whackers there. And then this thing and that thing. And mmm, yum, sushi. And this one can have the eyes up here. And then the mouth all the way down here, just to exaggerate it. I kind of like this one. I also kind of like this one. So like the eyes would go there and there, like really push it out. I just feel like everything's funnier if their eyes are apart, you know? Like Sid the Sloth, all those googly-eyed fish. Okay, so we've got a decision to make. Do we want this one or do we want this one? You know what? I thought it was going to be funnier doing it this way, but I kind of like this one. Decision number two in the customization of sashimi. Will we have his lips open or closed? He's kind of got like real crooked teeth. So his lips kind of go like this. And then he's got one little wonky one that goes like this. This is real exaggerated, by the way. Kind of biggish one like that. Another one that's like that, but then this one comes over it like that. And he's got little teeth here. He's got a kind of bigger bottom lip than he does a top lip. Okay, so we've got them open like that, or we can have them kind of shut. When they're shut, you can see he's got like a real dip. He kind of has like a little whoop there, and it goes like that. His bottom lip kind of angles a bit. Kind of like that. I feel like since Bushimis are open. Maybe sashimis can be closed. So this is the way we're going for the lips, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so since we've got it down to two options, let's do some slightly bigger, more refined drawings. And then we'll do an even more refined, coloured version of the final design. And that shall be sashimi. Right, so we've got the general shape and some little details here and there. Now we'll put the eyes, say, here-ish and here-ish, and then the mouth can go here. Kind of almond shape. I mean, it's just his bags that make things real round. Okay, so there's one. Let's try and make the other one match. It kind of looks like he's got a lazy eye now. We progress. I feel like it's the eye bags that really give the Bushimi look, you know, because his eyes just as a standalone, they're fine. But it's these guys, that's what does it. And then we've got the mouth, which I feel would be funny if it's more towards the center of his face rather than down at a normal kind of proportionate level. <laughs> so we'll do that. And that, my friends, could very well be a rough version of sashimi. Or there's version two. This time we've got kind of a smooth edged square, a flat edged circle, whatever you prefer. Right, so we've got that. And then we'll shove that like that. That goes down like that. This is almost becoming second nature to me and I'm kind of concerned. You know what? It's this one. I like this one. I thought from the beginning it was going to be this fella, but you have taken the cake, sir.
wild ride. Behold, Bushimi's cousin, Sashimi. As insane as it is, I <laughs> I genuinely enjoy it. I, I like it. Yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know if I should have done anything differently, what you would have done. I was contemplating adding line work, but it's kind of semi-realistic, so I opted out of that. I don't know, maybe it would have done something, but I don't want to ruin it. Well, that's it for today. Um, thank you so much for joining me on this uh, chaotic adventure. Strap in, because there's going to be plenty more where that came from. I'm not going to tell you to do the things, okay? You know that they're there. If you want to do them, do them. So yeah, if there's anything that you want me to do, um, any challenges or anything that you want me to draw, anything you want me to test out, send them through. Anyway, with that, I guess I shall see you later, Tater. Fade to black.